Welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. This is a follow-up video to another video I did on uh, what went wrong. And uh, this is a V6 engine that uh, had a crack in the number three cylinder. This is a six, four, and two. Yeah, that's the front of the engine there. So this is two, four, and six, and that's one, three, and five. So three had a crack in it. And uh, so I just wanted to, uh, I bought a new uh, dial board gauge and it came in today, so I'm checking it out and playing with it to see how it works. And uh, so what I did was use my micrometer and set it to, I measured the piston and uh, for number six, number six did not, number six piston didn't have any scoring on it. So it was probably the better one. And so I measured it, it was a four, it was a 20 thousandths over a piston. So I measured with the micrometer, it was about one, one and a half, 1 1.6 thousandths uh, under 420. So uh, this bore, so I set the micrometer to uh, to that size, which is about, uh, like I said, it's a little bit under four and twenty thousandths. And uh, using the dial bore indicator, it showed I had about two thousandths clearance on this piston, and that's fine because that's what that's pretty good. That's a pretty good clearance, and it's no it's no coincidence that this this piston was not scored. It had a good side to it. Okay, so then I went and checked number four, and. Uh, I found the major problem. So this bore is a little bit more than, it's bigger than that one. It's about, uh, I think it was, uh, I've got the, so anyway, after I did that, I went back and reset this to exactly four and 20 thousandths inches, four inches and 20 thousandths over, uh, oversized. I set that because I want, what I'm trying to do is check the bores to see how bad or see what they are. So I set the, this to four and 20 thousandths, got the dial bore in right on zero. This one came in at half a thousandth under 420, so that was good enough. This one came out at uh, three thousandths over 420, so I think that's because it's got some wear and tear in it from the piston slopping around or something. I haven't measured this one yet, but I'm about to measure this one and the other, the other uh, three. So, so anyway, as I said, this one was measured three thousandths over 420. Well, guess what? I took the piston and measured it and it's a stock piston, it's four inches. So there's over, and uh, this bore turned out to be, uh, let's see, what was it? Um, like I said, it was 3,000 over the four and 20. The piston is 5,000 under four inches. So you're looking at, what, about uh, 28 thousandths of an inch clearance, um, almost uh, 30,000 an inch bore clearance. Uh, no wonder these pistons were slopping around and breaking skirts. That's that's way too much tolerance. So um, I, they they screwed up on this real big time. They put the wrong piston in this hole. And I'm fixing to measure the rest and see. I'm going to write down the bore sizes and then go back and check the pistons and see what we got. So, and if the other, if the if the number three piston turns out to be uh, a stock size piston too, then there you go. That's what causes a crack. The thing was. Uh, wobbling like a fish in the in the cylinder in the cylinder and, and snap the skirts off and everything else so that explains that explains the problem right there like i said this is a very poor rebuild okay following up from the previous uh segment of the video i've now taken all the measurements and you can see what's going on here so um here's the clearances number six was uh 1000 inch clearance it's good a little tight but it was good the piston did not have scuffing so that one, that one was working number four had 27 thousandths plus another two ten thousandths 27 thousandths clearance that means they put the wrong piston in that bore all the bores uh these are the bore measurements all the bores are approximately 20 thousandths over that was right on the money that was uh five a uh, half a thousandths over that was two thousandths over I think that was 2,000 over because it was worn some from the piston slopping around. Um, that was five, uh, half a thousand under, no big deal. Um, number five on the money. Number three was one thousandths over. I, I measured down below the crack. That's when it had the crack in it. So it was uh, still good down below the crack level. Uh, number one was um, one and a half thousandths over, but that's not a big deal either. Probably just due to some wear. But if you take all the bore numbers, subtract the piston diameter, you get 27 thousandths clearance on number four, so I had the wrong piston in the hole. 12 thousandths clearance there, wrong piston in the hole. Looks like I had a, maybe a 10 thousandths over piston in a uh, 20 thousandths bore. 
Number five was good. It had uh, two and a half, uh, two, two, two thousandths and two tenths. So that one's good. That piston was no, there was no scuffing on that piston. It was good. And there's your reason because it put the clearance was right on the money. Number three, incredible. 33 thousandths plus six ten thousandths. 33 thousand clearance. So it had a, I don't even know how to explain that. The The piston wasn't even a four point, it wasn't even a stock size piston. It was uh, down, I don't know, it's like, what, 13 thousandths from stock? That's incredible. So I don't know what's going on with that one. I measured it right. I, I, well, I measured it on what's left of the skirt. Maybe that's what, that explains it. So the skirt was gone, but I picked some spots on what was left of the skirt and measured that. So that was probably a stock piston in a, in a 20 thousand over bore. So that's, that's a dumb, that's a wrong piston in the hole. Number one, uh, 18, eight thousandths, 18 thousandths and eight, 10 thousandths. So again, wrong pit. That's a, looks like a 10 thousandths over piston in a, no, let's see, it's almost 20 thousandths clearance. So that was a stock piston. See, number one piston, uh, yeah. It's only two and seven thousand over stock. So that was a stock piston. They stuck in a 20 thousandths over bore. So here's your conclusions. One, three, four, and two had the wrong size piston in a four and 20 thousandths bore. So there you go. Really, it's a part of my friend. So that's the story. We finally figured it out. Thanks for watching.